This video will be a continuation of our series on connective tissues. In the last video, we looked at areolar loose CT proper. And in this video, we will be looking at adipose loose CT proper. But before we can move on, let's get a good handle on what we consider to be connective tissues. Well, to start with, all connective tissues have a common origin and they share a stem cell called a mesenchymal stem cell. Next, our connective tissues are going to have two major components, cells and matrix. The cells are specialized to the particular type of connective tissue and our matrix sometimes it's called the extracellular matrix, is going to be made out of extracellular fibers and ground substance. Our extracellular fibers come in three major flavors. Collagen, is going to provide strength in one direction and it generally stains pink. Elastic fibers provide stretch and recoil and they generally stain purple. Reticular fibers are a branched network that provides support in many directions and they often stain dark brown or purple. So now let's take a closer look at our adipose tissue. When we look at adipose tissue, sometimes we look into the microscope and we say, is there even something on this slide? This picture, you can clearly see there is something on this slide, but there is so little cytoplasm and cell membrane in our adipose tissue that sometimes it stains very, very lightly. But what we see when we look in our microscope, we should see a honeycomb appearance where we can picture all of these little cells are part of a honeycomb. Okay, kind of like a bee's honeycomb. We're also going to see a lot of white space and that white space are actually lipid droplets inside of our cell that haven't stained with the rest of the cell. And then finally, if you can even locate your nuclei, the nuclei are going to be shoved up against the side of the cell. And in this picture, it's difficult to show you the nuclei, but we'll have a couple others where we can zoom in and really locate what we're looking for with those nuclei. Here, when we take a look at our adipose tissue, our specialized cell type is called an adipocyte. That literally means fat cell. So our adipose tissue is our fat. And as we're looking at this picture, we are looking at the most cellular kind of connective tissue. You don't see a lot of space between the cells. The cells crowd up on one another and are bumped right up against each other with not a lot of space or ground substance in between them. And so we actually are not going to have a specialized fiber type for our adipose loose connective tissue proper. So what are some locations where we can reliably find adipose tissue? Adipose tissue is going to be found in our hypodermis, which underlies our cutaneous membrane. That's actually what we're looking at in this picture, is a picture of our skin, and we're just below the dermis. We can reliably find fat in our breasts on our heart surface so that our heart always has uh, an energy source and then surrounding many of our organs and finally filling in body spaces 
We see this a lot in the knee. There's a bunch of adipose tissue to make sure everything stays in its right space. If we didn't have that adipose tissue, then the various movable parts of your knee may end up in places where they do not belong. So let's talk about some functions of adipose tissue. Well, adipose tissue contains lipid droplets that are made out of triglycerides. And triglycerides are a form of energy storage. So it's long-term energy storage. So when we have extra energy that we want to save for a rainy day, we pack on the fat. Fat also is going to provide us with some cushioning, again, so that we're not um, moving around parts of our body that should not be moved. It provides insulation to keep us warm. And there's a type of fat called brown adipose tissue that is actually capable of heat production. We call brown adipose tissue bat fat brown adipose tissue. Now let's take a closer look at our adipose tissue. Here we've zoomed in. We can see our specialized cell type, our adipocyte, and each of these is an adipocyte. The thin pink lines that you see, those are our cell walls. And then our nuclei, I promised you I'd show you a nucleus, our nuclei are squashed up against the side of our cell membranes where they're shoved out of the way by our lipid droplets. So our lipid is really taking up all of the space inside of that cell. Sometimes when we look at adipose tissue, we see these absolutely lovely round cells. They're very, very round and you can see nuclei squished up against the side and that nice open space in the middle where all of our lipid is going to be. But other times when you look at adipose tissue, the cells may be crinkled or wavy. We still have our nuclei off to the side, but we've got these crinkly looking cells. Well, this just means that there's not much lipid in this cell to push it out into that round shape. So these adipocytes are just, they just have a smaller lipid content than we see in the picture on the right. And finally, here is a slide where you may look in and you go, is there anything there? Well, yes, it's just that we have very little cell membrane and so sometimes our adipose tissue stains very lightly. So keep that in mind when you look in the microscope. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.